in our session we will be discussing about creating geometric entities like the key points lines areas volumes etc so we'll see how to create key points and what are different options available inside ansys that we'll look into the first concept when you talk about creating a key point is over the working plane where you are going to define so we'll understand this principle and we'll apply that while creating so i will show you how it looks in ansys if you go to preprocessor if you go to modeling if you go to key points here you have on working plane if you select the working plane here you can see x y and z that you have to define with respect to the working plane that you can directly set here by x comma y comma z in active coordinate system so what is the difference between the working plane and the active coordinate system if you see the working plane this is based on the working plane that means working plane can be one at a time wherever x y is there only there you can work that means x y has to be in that required position or plane where you are going to place your drawing points but in case of active coordinate you can directly define anywhere inside the graphical screen by specifying or referring x y z coordinate but working plane can always be x and y this is the fundamental difference and here if you see the options here directly you can see the in active coordinate system here you can see x y and z and you can assign also the key point number and next is online and online with ratio if you see online this option is basically used to create a key point at a typical location over a line and with ratio is if you have a line whose length is 10 and you need to place a point by keeping a ratio of 1 by 4 that is 0.25 you can specify the ratio that is 0 to 1 if you want to define at 3 by 4 then you can go for that factor so this point can be positioned with a particular ratio over the existing line and next is on node this particular option you can use over the finite element model that is after doing the discretization or mesh that means on nodes is not one geometry object so line key point area and volumes are geometric object whereas nodes is a finite element object so this particular point i'll be emphasizing more in my coming lecture videos and key point between key point so if you have a two key points in between you need to define five key points or maybe two that you can fit by specifying the numbers ratio and distance also the ratio based you can do a distance based unit you need to have a particular distance let us say the line's length is 10 and you need to keep or define the point at 2.75 then you can use of course the distance if you need to have a ratio it's very pretty difficult to calculate the 2.75 is how much out of 10 so you better go for the distance in case of ratio if you need to define at 3 by 4 or 1 third or maybe 1 by 8 then you can go for the ratio which is a good point for referring and fill between key points so between two key points you can fill n number of key points by specifying certain parameters here you can see the first option the fill between key points the key point number is 1 and 8 in between logically you can fill 6 numbers if here you have 10 and 1 logically you can fill 8 numbers so number of key point to fill automatically software will decide if you need to intervene this and you need to have a particular number maybe between 1 and 8 I want to fill something else then you can define the starting key point number and increment so that that particular instance will be done I will show you how this can be done 
I am just switching off the working plane. So this is the global coordinate system. I am going for inactive coordinate system and I am defining my first point as 10 and I am defining the location at 0, 0, 0. I am defining next point. You can see this is the x direction and x direction I am giving 100 and this point number is 45. I will go for OK. And these are the two points. If you go to fill between key points, I am picking the node number 10, I can type here 10, again I can type 45 and then go for OK, then you see this dialog box. So between 10 and 45, 34 logical points are possible and if you go for OK, those points will be filled in between and once you scroll it, these will, points will be disappeared. For getting this, go to plot and go to multiplot or you can go to plot key points then you can see for getting the numbers you can go to plot control numbering and here you can see the key point numbers of you need to switch on and go for ok then you can see the logical numbers between the 10 to 45 the sequence you can find out here so this is about the fill between key points Next you can see create hard point. The hard point are very specific points which are used only for explaining the load sharing point. That means over a particular domain if you want to apply load at a particular distance and at a particular location then you can define a hard point instead of a key point. And there is no fundamental difference between hard point and key point. Only the difference is the hard point can be used for defining a load share point and how to define the hard points you can directly find within the key points and you can see that you can see the hard point on areas hard point on line that directly you can see hard point by ratio hard point by coordinate or hard point by picking just by picking you can also see or define this point maybe the hard point you need to locate at a particular node that also directly can be done so this we can better understand when we apply over the practical problems. Creating hard point on area also as I discussed also can be done and you can locate one particular load sharing point over the area for applying the load. Next we will see how we can create the lines. As you know the definition of line this depends on two points. If you lock two points and you connect those two points, they will be treated as one line. The shortest distance between two points is known as line. So prerequisite for defining lines will be you need to have points first, then you can go for the lines. That means if you see the particular problem earlier which you have defined and if you have two points, maybe the 29 and 30, directly you go to lines, straight line and you can connect between this particular point and you will be able to finish the line in this way. Next we will see what are other different types of line. Straight line with respect to active coordinate you can also create. Overlaid on area. If you have an area over that area by connecting corresponding node points also you can create and with respect to the tangency also you can create the line tangent to lines if you see this tangent line created this is the adjacent line and this is the end point of the new line and this is the target and by touching this you can create the tangency also and tangent to two lines also if you have two straight lines if you select the end points and you can also connect tangency. I will show these examples. I am going to explain this. So I am clearing the session. Do not read. Yes. I am defining two points for reference. Key points in active coordinate system. You no need to define the key point number. So automatically software is going to define. I will go to apply. Second point at 100. These are the two points. I will define two another points in y direction at 
25 x is 100 and y is 25 the point is defined another at this point so here x will be 0 and y will be 25 here it's defined I'll go to lines straight line I'll connect this and I'll connect this if you go to the tangent to lines and tangent to two lines you can see the different tangent to lines if you select you can see here pick or enter line that is tangent to the new line this ok and you can see now the prompt is enter the key point at tangency at point of adjacent line this and then you can see enter the end key point of the new line this you can see nothing happened here because two lines are parallel but if you see tangent to two lines directly you can see here the output the pick or enter the first line ok enter the key point at the tangency of the first line this next you can see pick the second line this ok and pick the end point ok here you can see this is connected but if you see the tangent to lines here you can see some different approach enter the line that is tangent to the new line the line which is tangent to the new line so this is tangent to the new line let us say end point of the existing line this and you can see the key point of the new line this if you go for ok this is connected so this new line end point is referenced and the end point of the existing line is tangency elemented but in this case as the two lines are parallel you can select it if you reverse the order the new lines end point and new lines end point as the starting you cannot create the tangency so the principle is you need to have a open space point from where you will start your tangency reference and this will approach towards the line where you need to connect or join the tangency at the end point so this is basically the tangent to two lines normal to two lines you can draw the perpendicular between two lines which you can see here and normal to two lines is in between two lines you can directly draw the normals here you can see plot lines lines will be plotted go to normal to two lines this is the first line you can see the prompt enter the second line normal to the new line go for ok you can see the perpendicularity will be maintained and the lines also will be divided with the new color scheme this you can prove by going to plot control and you can see the numbering and line numbers and you can see this will be l2 l5 l1 l6 l3 l4 and l7 each are segments once you connect with a perpendicular line no longer the existing property of the line is going to exist at an angle to line just like that you can also create the angular lines just like that you have to pick the line and you have to pick a open point from where you need to drop the angle so if you select this particular option you can see at an angle to line the first prompt will be enter the line to be intersected next is enter the end key point of the new line you can select this is the end point and what about the angle maybe I am going for 60 you can see 60 is not possible because it is intersecting in this way if you go for 120 then what is going to happen you can see you can draw it select the line select the end point and if you go for 120 this is done because 120 is possible but if you go for 60 this lying outside the line so it will show one error message angle to two lines also in the same way if you have line 1 and line 2 if you select it whatever the angle 1 and angle 2 this you can specify maybe I am going for 1 h 75 and another is 75 which is deducted from 180 it will go for minus in this way one will be with 75 another will be 180 minus 75 that is the 105 that will be maintained 
So these are different options which you can use under this line. In our coming session, I'll be discussing about creating the arcs.